Where's Hundo routing at? Uh, Migu posted the other day, we're trying to like get all of our ideas together, like, cause we've had way too many ideas kind of floating around. And so Migu's trying to like consolidate all our ideas, like just write down individually what all our ideas are. We have 16 different Hundo route ideas floating around with a few of them also having other minor variations. <laughs> and so we now have to cut down that list. Yeah, just to give you an idea of why Hundo routing has been so um, non-productive is because, yes, we have that many route ideas just, just going around. Yes, Hundo is chaotic. Yeah, 16 different times. Obviously, we cannot time 16 different routes. Yeah, I've done multi-world. I've done multi-world with Volven Dry a few times. There's a few VODs of that on YouTube. When will I route Max Rando? I mean, I, we kind of did that one day when I did a spoiler log run where we got the spoiler log before the run. Will I not make any mistakes this time? I think it's impossible to make no mistakes in Rando, but I will try to minimize mistakes. No logic means items can actually be anywhere, including places that may make the seed unbeatable. Or to think about starting with adult wallet, uh, that would make shops way less important. Start with Goron Ruby. Okay, finally, starting adult. Alright, I can check uh, what's over here. This is actually an interesting starting place. Rupee over there. I can check what's down here. That's a stick. Yeah, that's stick. Come on, please. Let me climb. Let me climb, dude. I actually need rupees early on, please. Alright, damage boost. Alright, I guess check what, um... I just realized that this is... Um, this may actually start, depending on what Ice Cavern goes to, this could be an unbeatable seed right at the beginning. GTG. Okay, I might be able to do something with this. Why? Because my only way out of Zora's Fountain is past King Zora, which I need either long shot and bombs and shield or um, or a blue fire to get past. So I'll see how much I can do in GTG. But <laughs> there's actually a chance that this is like unbeatable right off the bat. Yeah, Black Tunic is nice. Uh, I might be stuck. Uh, I can't do anything more here. Is there anything more I can do in GTG? Beg to start as a dull monkey's paw curls, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this might be impossible right from the start. I definitely can't do anything over there. I don't have any keys. Uh... Uh... Cool. No, I don't want to set King's Roar move by default because I actually prefer him in the same spot. Um, wow. No, I can't get in Jabu without um, explosives and a shield. Well, at least a shield. If I had a shield, I could theoretically use a Tech Titan. Um, uh, nice soft log, yeah. Um, let me save warp again, but this is just going to take me back to Zora's Fountain. If I had, if, uh, if I had some way to do OI, I could place, um, Prelude. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first unbeatable seed. <clears throat> well, that was quick. I like how my first time getting unbeatable seed is unbeatable just right away. All right, let me. I'll I'll check spoiler log real quick just for the area around here, and just see uh, if there's theoretically some item like if I almost could get it that I could work with. The Gerudo training ground lobby right chest is a bow, but I can't get the bow without the bow. I mean, I could do a uh, quick put away, but I have to hover up. I I can't hover up obviously. The eye statue chest is a bomb bag, dude. This is actually so close. If I could. 
This is actually close to doable. It's not doable, but it's like kind of tauntingly close. <clears throat> so like if I hit this eye, this chest is bow. And then with the bow, I can get bomb bag from the spinning eye thing. But in order to hit that, I'd need to use quick put away, which I did learn a 1.0 method of quick put away where I don't need stick, where I can do like this. Let me see if I can do it. I have to put away my sword and jump slash right as I fall off the ledge. QPA here, well, it would only achieve something. Okay, like that. So now I have QPA. If I could hit that switch with QPA, I can get the bow, and with the bow, I can get bombs. The hidden ceiling chest is ocarina. Wait. Oh my god, dude. If I could get one key. If I could get one key, the key behind here is ocarina, and I could warp out. Is there like one Gerudo Training Grounds key here? No. GCG is loaded and I can't do anything in here. Clip through the wall with crooked cartridge. I mean, in theory, uh, you can actually clip through walls if you crooked cart while climbing stuff like this. So actually that probably would work. Put my N64 on a hot plate. Yeah, I'll get a new seed in a sec. I'm just trying to experiment with this, see if there's anything I could theoretically do. Let me see what the Zora's Fountain uh, Skulltula is. Uh, small key fire temple. That wouldn't do anything. Great fairy rewards, gold Skulltula token. Fun dry video, yeah. Impossible seed in five minutes. No, this is my first time getting an impossible seed. Nice. Okay, uh, let me go make a new seed. Okay, I'm gonna... So, I'm gonna actually manually set starting age to adult for this because I want to actually have a seed that starts as adult. So I normally have starting ages random, but for this one, I'm going to force it as adult just so I can actually try an adult seed, an adult starting seed. What made it impossible? I'm trapped in Zora's Fountain. My spawn is in Zora's Fountain, so save warping just takes me back to Zora's Fountain. My only way out is Zora's Domain, which is blocked by King Zora, which I need either blue fire or uh, to weird shot or long shot past him. And Ice Cavern is Gerudo Training Grounds, which doesn't have anything that I can actually do. Not No items I can actually do anything with. I'm actually, Gerudo Training Grounds is actually very close to items I can do something with. If I could just get one Gerudo Training Ground key, I'd be able to warp out. But I can't. Uh, anyway, seed number two. No, I can't get into Jabu without a shield. Oh, let me check what Jabu was. Did you guys see what Jabu, what Jabu was in the spoiler log? Yeah, I do have ice arrows set to blue fire arrows, but that would require bow, ice arrows, and magic, which is kind of unrealistic given the circumstances. Bomb of the well. Is there anything easily accessible in bomb of the well? Oh, wait, no, obviously not because I'm adult. Okay, well, very interesting, interesting seed. And that's, that's no logic for you. I like how just before the seed started, I was explaining like, yes, no logic means it is potentially unbeatable. And I was just thinking, Boy, wouldn't it sure be funny if I explain up to someone about how no logic means the seed's unbeatable and then immediately get an unbeatable seed. Boy, sure, wouldn't that be ironic. Is it possible to start in DMC and not have enough time to get out? No, you at minimum you minimum have 24 seconds, and that's always enough to go either through the top or through the bottom, regardless of where you start. Unless you start... I guess if you started at the Bolero platform and... Entering Fire Temple was a dungeon that couldn't get you anything, then yeah, you'd be stuck.